The AMCA program has gained momentum in India and most of the designing for stealth shaping of AMCA is already completed or in a completion state. To be specific, the advanced technologies to make AMCA a stealth fighter range is all in the finishing stage, which includes the serpentine air intake, an internal weapon bay to carry smart weapons inside the fuselage or a covered bay, and radar absorbing materials and a conformal antenna. So these are the various changes or enhancements which has been already done for the AMCA fighter jets. Even though the rest preparations in designing are complete, the main constraint for Indian Air Force and the AMCA program is the unavailability of an indigenous engine. The General Electric Aviation and Saffron was the India's first choice of foreign companies with whom India has carried out extensive collaboration talks for years now. General Electric is ready for joint venture development of a new engine for the AMCA stealth fighter but it's not ready to reveal its core technology which seems to be the main reason why no agreement has been signed yet. According to General Electric, none of the company will be ready to share its core unique technology which they invented or found post many hours of research. They will obviously do their best to protect them from any other company or country to access. So based on the discussions which was held during 2 plus 2 dialogue meeting which was held on December 18, 2019, America will work with India to come up with a new engine and this can be from another aero engine manufacturer than the General Electric. The another major company which is considered to develop a new engine to meet the power requirements of India's AMCA program is Pratt and Whitney. This is just in a beginning stage since we need to get a confirmation from Pratt at Whitney. Due to the delays in shortlisting a joint venture partner for AMCA specific engine, India has planned to go ahead with F404G IN20 engines for the first two squadrons of 40 Mark I aircrafts. Additional order for 100 more new engines will happen as next batch for the Mark 1A program. The GF414 INS6 was selected by India's Aeronautical Development Agency to power the Mark II version of the Tejas light combat aircraft and according to the sources, these afterburning engines are to be sourced for 200 Tejas Mark II and also the Navy's twin-engine deck-based fighter program. Not only the fighter jets, HAL also plans to develop lead-in fighter training based on the trainer variant of Tejas Mark I which would also be powered using the American General Electric engines. In order to avoid such dependency on America, India has to locally develop at least two engine variants with a foreign aero engine maker. And with the phase the indigenous engine development is going, looks like India will require at least 10 more years to come up with the engine for the production stage. So let's hope Indian Defence expedites the indigenous engine development and successfully come up with a locally developed engine at the earliest. So this was a quick update or a recap of the AMCA and the General Electric engine details. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it. And also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.